Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and welcome back to... Actually no, we're not welcoming back today. This is the first episode of Thursday... Th what? Thursday? <laughs> Thursday... What is it? Thursday... Topic Thursday and Topic Tuesday. It's Thursday today, I think it is Thursday today, isn't it? Yes. Right, so we've got a topic to choose and I've got one here. It's got 102 likes on this video and let's have a look. Topic, exams and your results in exams. Now, I don't really know what you mean, that's quite a broad thing to talk about. So first of all, first of all, first of all, I'm going to talk about my results in exams. But let me show you guys, I'm just in a hotel at the moment here for I-55. Stop, Stop recording. Stop. Why? With these topics you can have it like, on the stopped the camera on a still position. Don't have you walking around, I think it would be better if you did that way. Okay. okay. Rob, you make, Rob, you make a set for me. So I can talk about my topic, and I'll show these people, beautiful people, the view from our hotel room. So they were like, do you want, do you want to stay in like a top floor or a bottom floor? We were like, we want to be put up the top. So we're literally, we're not quite at the full top, but we're, we're pretty freaking high. This is Coventry here. Um, I don't know if you guys know Trolls Us, but he lives like over there somewhere down there. So yeah, that's, that's him. And uh, Rob's making me a set while I, while I talk about uh, what I got in my exam results. So what I got in my exam results was I did pretty easy, pretty easy things, like pretty easy GCSEs. I got a C in English Literature, a B in English Language, a C in all three of my sciences, uh, a C in Maths, um, and then I got, a, I got a B in French, and then, because you had to do either French or Spanish, I don't know why I didn't do Spanish, I did French for some bizarre reason. Anyway, I got a B in that. Um, and then I did ICT, drama, and uh, graphics. Now I got an A star in graphics, I got um, an A star in ICT, and I got a B in drama, which really annoyed me because I thought I was good at drama, I thought I was good at acting. I'm an actor. But obviously, you know, I got a B and that was, was quite disappointed. But I got the results that I needed to get to go into college. So let me talk about like results and, 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 you know, exams and how, how to prepare for them and stuff. Right, so guys, let's talk exams for a second, right? So exams are hyped up by your parents, by your tutors, by your teachers, by your friends, by everyone. Exams are portrayed to you when you are younger as, if I fail this, I've failed life, uh, and if I do well at this, I'm going to have a good job. And that is not, not the case at all. I know many successful people um, uh, that have earned like, an absolutely awesome living um, and, you know, they, they, they dropped out of school, they're actual dropouts. Like, one to name would be, uh, what's the guy that invented Microsoft? Um, Bill Gates. Bill Gates. He dropped out of college. He was a college dropout and he invented Microsoft. So just just think, just let that sink in for a second. Um, so exam results are, they're important, but they're not as important as people make them out to be. Like, people make them out to be important because people want they, people want you to do your best. And you do need to do your best. It's always good to do your best in exams because it gets you prepared for life. I don't think of an exams as, oh, I'm going to do my best to try and get a good result. I say to myself, I'm going to do my best in an exam because I want it to give me a good skill set to do well in other things that I may not want to do in the future. If you can do well at something that you don't want to do, that being exams, then just think about how well you're doing something that you do want to do, for example. So, like, I want to do YouTube. If I can do well in an exam I can, and I don't want to do it, I can definitely do well in YouTube because I want to do it. Do you get what I mean? Like, hopefully that makes sense. Does that make sense, Rob? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, they're not the be-all and end-all. Do not let exams, like, ruin, ruin, like, a weekend or... Like, obviously, I prepared for my exams. It's always good to prepare. You don't want to go sit in an exam and, um, and just flunk it because you'll just feel shit afterwards, honestly. Do some preparation, prepare as much as you think, not what anyone else thinks, as much as you think you should prepare for the exam to get the result that you need, not want, the result that you need. Um, and the result that you get will be will be a reflection of your efforts that you put in to start with. Now, I'm not, I'm not like a very good intelligent person, I can't spell for all you guys on Twitter, I always put the wrong your on Twitter, like your apostrophe, and I'm just like rubbish at everything. Uh, I'm quite stupid, but I've managed at the age of 18 to set up my own business, um, working, I work for m numerous bars and companies, 
Uh, I work for kitchen designers. Uh, we've got a, I've got a company that I've just started up that does promotional videos and different things like that. And um, I'm just I'm not clever at all. Like it's just all about like drive and persuasion. And this is what exams are about. Like. If what I'm saying is if you can have the drive to do an exam that you don't want to do, imagine the drive that you can put into setting up your own business about something that you want to do. Maybe your passion is, let's take mine for instance, like videography, like we're doing right now, like with cameras. If I, you know, if I've got the, I've got the drive to do something that I want to do, then it's like a win. It's all about drive. And if you can do an exam and do well in it, then you've got the drive to do amazing things. And that is the be all and end all of it and it, you know if you get a good result you'll feel happy when I got good results I felt happy about myself when I didn't get a good result I was like oh I've, I've let myself down now honestly you can't go back with exams you can't like you can't just rewind time once you've got the result that's it so do your best and that's literally all you can say just well you're able to reset them well you, you can reset them but yeah it's like it's mainly um it's just a bit of a ball ache isn't it it's English and maths the ones you can yeah, yeah, reset. So, Which are the main important ones anyway. Yeah, so don't, obviously don't shit yourself if you get a bad result, but you want to come out, but you want, you want to get that result, you want to open the paper and think, yes, I've done my absolute best in that, it's the best I could do, and that is that. And that is pretty much it. That is exams in a nutshell. So yeah, that was the first episode of Topic. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Drop some topics down in the description and next Tuesday I will uh, do another episode of Topic and we can talk about a topic that you guys want. I'll go through the comments and if you guys see a, co a topic that you like in the comment section, be sure to hit it with a like rating so I'll make sure I see it as well. And I'm going to go and eat my subway now because it's probably stone cold. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Alex, you guys have been awesome. And I'll see you in my next video. Adios. Tush.